All right, guys, um, I love the card vomit, and I think it's really underused. I think it should be done a lot more often, but it seems like a lot of magicians just kind of forget about it. I think it's great because it's so engaging. Now, what does that mean? Is that it gets people to open up and want to see what you're doing. So instead of just coming up to people and be like, hey, pick a card, that's not very engaging. You know, when you do something like a card vomit to start off with, you know, people are gonna know that what you do is fun, that what you do is gonna make them feel good. And people wanna feel good, you know? And this is why I love card magic, is it's not all about pick a card effects. You can do color changes, like, you know, it's cool stuff. You see that change into the six of clubs. Hold on, let me do a better. You guys get the point. Um, there's a lot of really fun stuff that you can do with card magic, and you gotta show people that you can do all that stuff. You know, all that really visual stuff because that's what's gonna get people most engaged. Now let's get to it. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it correctly because I see a lot of people doing it wrong and let's get to it now. All right guys, so now let's get into the handling of the effect. Listen up students, sit down, grab your cards and pay attention. So what you need is, I like to use about 13 cards. I don't like to go all crazy maybe 13 to 15, um, just about this much. Basically, the way it works is you have these cards palmed like this. You have them palmed like that. You know, some guys go all crazy, you know, trying to make it look all natural. And I just palm them like this, you know. No one really suspects anything because I have my hands down here and I haven't done anything yet. And it's a very quick thing that you do, you know. Um, if your hands are down here, their eyes are like up here if you're talking to them. They're not going to be looking down here. So you have them palmed like that, you know, looks like this. And then to actually do the card vomit, you actually push the cards into your mouth. Not all the way in. Don't go all the way down to your esophagus, okay? That is not cool. So, when you push them in, you, you kind of push them in using this part of your hand, like this. So it kind of looks like, like that. So I don't like to push them all the way in. I don't think it should go in um, further than like your this part of your lip. So that's it. That's it. And then to do the, to do the vomit, you basically use your left hand to fan the cards out. And how you fan the cards are with your thumb and these two fingers right here, you just kind of uh, do this movement, kind of like a snapping movement. So it kind of looks like that. So practice that for a little bit, just fanning them like that. So once you have them in, fan them out like that. Go like that. And uh, as you guys see, I like to use the sound of my teeth to just make it better. I haven't seen a lot of people use that. I actually got the idea from Mooncalf Magic. Uh, look him up, he's a great busker. He actually uses this to stop people. And he's like, hey, have you seen this? Come and see a card trick, yeah? So if you guys notice, uh, I also fan out with this hand right here. So in slow motion, it kind of looks like this. So I also fan with this hand right after this hand. So it looks like this. It's like that. And that's pretty much it. On real speed, I'm gonna do it one more time. It's like that. So now I'm gonna actually show you guys how to get into position to perform the effect if you have a deck of cards in your hands. Cause I mean, it would be kind of awkward if you were to just take the cards and then palm them, you know. So what you do is you have the cards face up like this and um, you're chit-chatting away, you're getting that pinky break. I get a pinky break like that and I pick up the cards and I set the cards down, do the vomit. Now in real speed, it would look at a little bit something like this. Something like that. All right. Um, what you can also do is palm them and have your hands down like this, which is what I usually do, because I mean, no one's going to be looking down here, 
you know, so they don't suspect anything because I haven't done anything yet. And then from there, you do the vomit. Now, this is a trick that should be done spontaneously rather than, okay, for my next trick, I'm gonna vomit cards, yeah? Actually, what you do is you just, just do it spontaneously, just off the cuff. Or what you can do is have context added to it. And what I mean by that is if you've ever done the card for a mouth trick, you know, where you pick a card out of your mouth, it would kind of make sense for you to like regurgitate cards, right? Like you just regurgitated a folded up card and then, you know, if, like a minute later you regurgitate all these cards. So it kind of gives it some context. And yeah, there you go. That's how you get into it. That's about all I can tell you guys about this. Just go out, practice, have fun, and keep performing. Perform to as many people as you can. Let's go. Hey, hope you guys are enjoying the free content. Remember, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, what should I do next? You guys want to see the color change that I did? This one right here? If you want to see it, let me know. If I get at least 50 likes for this video, that's my goal. We're going to do the next video. All right? On the snap change. So let me know. Um, we'll do the card vomit one more time because it looks so good. All right. You guys take it easy and thank you for watching.